Namo namaha and welcome back. Now let's turn to the next of our uh, gana uh, classes, uh, class four. Uh, this is known as the du gana and it's named after the root du, which is representative of the class, and it gets conjugated as duyate. So you can have sa duyate. She shines bright. Uh, like with the other ganas, uh, the other aganas, the, the verb example is going to illustrate how the stem gets formed in the class. And so if you remember the, how divyate is, is conjugated, you'll remember the class. Uh, it's actually a pretty easy class. Maybe it's the easiest one of them all. Uh, you take the root, uh, you don't do anything to it, you don't process it in any way, and you simply add your class marker, ya. And that's it. Voila, you're done. You have your fourth class stem. So du plus ya, and you have the stem divya. Uh, and then you add your endings. The verb itself is an atmanepada verb, so it takes the atmanepada endings, te, ete, ante, and so on. So divya te, divyete, the two of them shine. Divyante, the three or more of them are shining brightly. Tuam uh, divya se, you shine bright. Aham divye, I shine bright. Right? Uh, so let's look at some of the other very common roots in this class of verbs. One is the root kup, which means to get angry or upset. Uh, kup turns first into the stem kupya. Uh, and then you add your endings, your parasmaipada endings here. Kupya ti, he gets angry. Kupya si, you get angry. Kupya mi, I get angry. Now notice here, like with the class one verbs, we're going to have an elongation of the ah. Uh, in the first person. So, kupyami, I get angry. Kupyawaha, the two of us get angry. Kupyamaha, we all get angry. We all get upset. Uh, another fourth class root is nush, which means to be destroyed or to perish or to fall apart, basically. The, um, the root, you take the root, you add your gana marker, ya, yeah, you get nashya as your stem. So the conjugations of this verb is parasmaipada again, is nashyati, nashyataha, nashyanti. He is destroyed. The two of them are perish. The three or more fall apart. Uh, that kind of thing. The final root that we can talk about in the fourth class is the very important verb man, which means to think. Uh, this verb is conjugated only in the atmanepada. So first we take the root man, we don't do anything with it, we add our class marker ya, and we get our stem manya. Then we add atmanepada endings. Sita manyate, Sita thinks. Ramascha, Lakshmanascha, manyete. Rama and Lakshmana both think. Viraha manyante, the warriors, three or more of them think. Uh, the all-important all manyase, you think. Manye, I think. Right? You'll use this one a lot. Aham manye, I think. Uh, iti aham manye, such and such. Uh, so good, that's our class four. Let's take a break here. Then we'll come back very quickly and look at the next of our agana classes, which is class six, the tud gana. So thank you for watching. Punar milamaha danyawadaha.